This one time during the summer when I was 13, I spent a few nights at my friend's house and we were outside playing with the neighbor's kids. This girl my friend had a crush on came up with the idea to go play in an abandoned asylum in the middle of the woods. All the kids thought it was a cool idea and that we should totally do it. However, I didn't think it was a great idea. The place has been abandoned for I believe my friend's dad said 15 years and that since no one has been taking care of it, it's probably not safe. Which is what I told my friend and the girl, but the girl called me a wuss puss and my friend took her side which hurt because I was his friend longer than he knew the girl and he totally betrayed me. So we ended up going and when we got there we went straight in. When we got inside, the girl said, let's play hide and seek. Everyone screams yay and we played bubble gum to see who would be it. My friend ended up being the first seeker, so the girl whispered to everyone including me to hide in the basement. I told her that's a stupid and dangerous idea, but she and the others ignored me and ran downstairs. I went to go hide in the sunroom upstairs because it's actually pretty nice in there and one of the safest rooms in the building. The stairs and the floor to the room is all concrete so it's solid and less likely to break. When entering the room I noticed a man crouched in one of the corners of the room. I played it off as if I didn't notice him and said this is a beautiful room and walked back halfway down the stairs. When I heard footsteps from up the stairs coming down I started running and met my friend down at the end of the steps and told him we need to get everyone and get the hell out of here. But literally after saying that, we heard screaming coming from down the stairs and footsteps running up. The girl and the rest of the kids ran past us and out the front door. My friend and I followed after them and when we got back to the neighborhood, my friend asked the girl what happened. The girl said, we went to hide in the basement and I hid in one of the pad rooms. This man says, hey cutie, and so I screamed and ran and the others screamed and ran too. I looked at both her and my friend and told them that I knew this was a horrible idea. The girl started crying and my friend told me to F off. For the rest of the week I was there, I kept my distance from my friend. He and the girl were mad at me. My friend stopped talking to me and the girl and him ended up going out for a while. I ended up moving away to a new town a few hours away and tried to patch things up on Facebook a few years later, but no luck. He ended up blocking me on Facebook. So I had to come to my senses and finally tell myself I lost my best friend. But don't worry, I made new ones at the new town I moved into. And to my ex-best friend, I hope you're doing well and I'll always remember the good times.